the long run. We've talked about the short run. We said in the short run, a factor is is fixed. Mm -hmm. Other factors are variable. Yes. But in the long run, all factors are considered variable. That is in the long run. So here I wrote, in the long run, all factors of production, land, labor, capital, and enterprise are variable. And firms can use the exact amount of each factor to achieve maximum efficiency. So what it means is this. Because it's in the long run. So whatever we need to use in that long run, we can use the same amount that we use in the short run to, to achieve efficiency in the long run. Mm -hmm. Because in the long run, we would have planned using each factor efficiently. In the short run, we cannot plan easily. Things cannot be easily changed in the short run. But in the long run, but in the long run it is easy for us to, to change things. Mm -hmm. So that's why things will be efficiently done. Do you get the point here? Yeah, yeah. Like I told you about this house. In the, long, in the short run, we might not be able to change this house to a school in the short run. But in the long run, we might be able to use this house to become a school. Yes. So that means we're going to use the same length. Every, the size, we're still going to use it, but we will use it efficiently because it was planned in the long run. Mm -hmm. So the long run is about different short runs. Yes. Do you get it? Yeah. So there's going to be air, short runs, short runs, short runs. So all these short runs that we are passing through will lead to the long run. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? So yes. in the long run, it is what, the long run is about different short runs. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. Good. So what determines the shape of the long run average cost, uh, average cost, average cost curve? Mm. It is a social shape. It's social. Not you. It is a social shape. Social. Okay. Okay. So... What does that imply? It means that we have, we have three, uh, three branches in the social shape. We have the, return, uh, the economies of scale, the optimum level, and the economies of scale. There's economies of scale where the, average cost of, where the average cost of production starts dropping. There's the optimum level, and there's these economies of scale. So look at here. We have the economies of scale here. We have this stage, which is optimum level, mm -hmm. and we have these economies of scale. Do you get what I'm saying here? Yeah. You get it, okay? Economies of scale, optimum level, these economies of scale. Mm -hmm. So what brings about economies of scale? Economies of scale is a cost advantage. It means your average cost of production is falling. So here we have economies of scale, optimum level, and these economies of scale. At this point, it's optimum. When it starts falling from here, that means your average cost of production starts falling. Mm -hmm. That means you are enjoying economies of scale. But... This is the point at which the optimum level, that's the point at which the society will benefit more from what firms are producing. Yes. Why? Because firms will be producing efficiently. Yes, they're producing more. They will be producing more with efficiency. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So when you start producing more with efficiency, it means that the economy or there is optimum level. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. In terms of output. But then that means it's downward slope. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it passes the optimum level, then the economy will be witnessing these economies of scale. Mm -hmm. So these economies of scale is as a result of expansion that leads to increasing the average cost of production. Mm -hmm. Because when you get back here, it means your average cost of production is increasing. That is this economy. So from here, from here upward is these economies of scale. Okay. Uh, do you get it now? Yeah. Okay. So. So like. Uh, here, uh, optimum level. Producing efficient, efficient. Firms are producing efficiently, and yeah. individuals in the, so the society is benefiting from effic the efficiency yeah. of firms. And that is at the optimum level. Yeah, and then this one, what is this one? There? These economies of scale. That means you have over expanded. Ah, okay. Yeah, so when they have produced uh, more, you have you have expanded that you cannot be efficient anymore. Yes, and then like the the people will be pre will be. Benefiting more, so it increases. No, if like because costs. if you think consumers are benefiting more, as a result, you start expanding further. So it's expanding further will lead to these economies of scale. Yeah, yeah, okay. For example, if because we are a company and we start doing well, mm -hmm. we expanded our business yeah. and we, we we employ more workers, and these workers we cannot manage them, we cannot monitor them. Mm -hmm. They will be they will become less efficient, yes. and that is these economies of scale. Do you understand yeah, now? I get it, yeah. So that is about the long run average cost. Yeah. So the long run average cost curve will shift, will, is always downward slope. Why is it downward slope? It's downward slope because 
it means that there's cost advantage, economies of scale. Mm -hmm. But when it becomes, when it starts going upward, mm -hmm. that means there's economies of scale. Is it clear? Yeah. So that is in the long run. So you have, what you have to know about the long run is that the long run, in the long run, all factors of production are variable. Mm -hmm. And each factor, you will be able to use each, each amount of factor efficiently. Yeah. So not like, uh, to reach optimum level, not like the short term. in the short run. Yeah. So each factor will be able to be used to reach the optimum level. Yeah. Where, and the optimum level is where the society benefits from the efficiency of firms. Yes. But as soon as it passes the optimum level, then they will be witnessing these economies of scale. And what is these economies of scale? A, an increase in the average cost of production due to expansion. Mm -hmm. You know, economies of scale is an, uh, an, uh, a fall or a reduction in the average cost of production due to expansion. But if this expansion brings about an increase in the average cost of production, then there's these economies of scale. So in the 